The Raiders have the high draft picks at quarterback, running back, and receiver. How will that play out on the field in OTAs? Hey, how are you folks? Jason Horowitz, NFL.com's Pat Kerwin. Glad to be with you. New segment here on CBSSports.com, NFL Insider with Pat Kerwin every other week, breaking down teams, news and notes, all that stuff. This is all about the Raiders and Pat. When you talk about what's going on mm -hmm. with Oakland, they're putting the players around Jamarcus Russell, but will he be ready to have a breakout season this year? I don't really know. I don't think that he's done. I don't think his career is over, but I think this guy is still struggling. He still struggles to see down the field, read coverages. I'm not sure he's ready. Now, Hayward Bay is going to give him a vertical threat, and he likes that. He still has a left tackle issue there, where is he going to get the time? He's throwing, uh, he's being thrown an interception one, uh, once every uh, game, I believe, and he's being sacked once every 13 pass attempts. Those aren't very good signs that he's ready to go. And there's a guy on the bench in Garcia who's very competitive, who at the end of the day is going to believe he should be the starter, and it might turn into that as the year goes on. All right, what does the signing of Lorenzo Neal mean for Darren McFadden this year? Well, Lorenzo Neal is a... a, a pro when it comes to being a fullback and not just taking on the linebacker and blocking him every time he does a terrific job of reading the scheme in front of him and getting himself up the right hole that means that the tailback can follow him and not make mistakes a lot of young running backs run into darkness plow right into the guard because they couldn't read how the blocking scheme was going to go lorenzo will get him to the second level what is the biggest issue facing the raiders aside from maybe the raiders themselves as they go through otas and into training camp well you know hayward bay they took the big risk and it doesn't matter that they took him where they took him they got him he's a vertical threat now he dropped three balls in a row at an OTA the pressure's already on him people are st put a microscope on him Javon Walker's not going to be ready he had a mystery knee injury surgery so he won't be ready for the start so I think the the issue is weapons down the field the one thing Jamarcus Russell and all good young quarterbacks can do is throw vertically that's what you want to do with them don't ask them to read the schemes underneath and, and de deal with all the multiple route situations he can let that ball fly off the play action pass so that's what Haywood Bay's got to catch him. Yeah, and if you run the football, you don't have to throw the ball. We'll see how it all works out. All right, for more on the Raiders, be sure to stay with CBSSports.com and be sure to stay and check out the NFL Insider with Pat Kerwin every week here on CBSSports.com. I'm Jason Horowitz for Pat Kerwin. Take care, folks.